All right, so here we go for this. So this is allow manual use. Should just uh, check everything. Let me see. This is filter. Let's just say like cooking agree. No, it's like consumable ore. Um, well, it's no consumable. I want to bring consumable ore. Let's do like a metal or something. What's in here? Let's see cemetery gold. There's some gold amalgam in here, so that's what we'll do. Move some gold amalgam. Industrial green. Oh, that's the. Uh, uh, did the metal ore. Gold amalgam. Who that? Sprocketty! Oh, hello! I didn't see you there! Oh, hello! 18 months! Legal! Uh, what up? <laughs> Thank you so much! Allow manual use! Okay, so this is just so they could drop shit in there. Allow to manually manage these storage materials. Interesting. Uh, so if I say... Oh, what is this? Does this take anything? Okay, so if I take this and then I drop the gold amalgam... This thing has got gold in it. Allow manual use. Okay, so the question then is how do I get the auto sweeper to load into the storage bin? Or am I using the wrong kind of storage? This is not I mean this is not a lot. This is basically like oh priorities. Oh, that's what you meant when you said priorities. Did you say it was the lower it goes lower first? Or is it higher first? It takes from low. So if I do four, and then if I say this is gonna also pick up anything metal. Okay. Is that out of reach? Oh my god. <laughs> The experiment is a failure because I fucked this part up. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. We'll do it right. Kill these. That's so silly. What I want to see is it taking things and loading them into the bins. Like I said, this is this is just part of just how the, how my brain works. I just need to see it, you know. I need to see it in practice. He can start that too, my guys, and use that stuff to build this. Is that for seal off storage? That idea is to have a seal off storage room. Yes. Yeah. How funny! Just all the shits over here on the side. Let's go ahead and clean that up too. <laughs> and put it in here. Uh, there you go. Let's go see what's going on. Do I have anything? Oh, okay. With this, the pipes here. Well, they're working on it. Or maybe they're working on it because I'm looking at them right now. So they ran over real quick. Oh shit, here comes the overseer. Hurry, quick. Quick, start welding something. This over here, it's not unreachable, which is good. Not unreachable. They got most of the stuff done, actually. Yeah, this, the stuff in space is going to take a little bit longer, I guess. But I used lighter material, so it shouldn't take too much. I live. What up, Marfa? Yes, you're still here somewhere. <laughs> you're still here somewhere. Did they ever get this all cleaned up? It looks like they did. Dog frills. You get a little nudge. I guess Donis is the only one that could actually build it too, huh? Oh, and the shoot back there actually is not done. Cool. So now. Let's do... So we'll make this basically everything. The fact that there's no select all button makes me feel like there's... What, what the fuck? Oh my god. Because it's lower priority, so they moved everything out. There's nothing in it now. <laughs> Let's set it to six. Oh. Well, wait, if I make that a four... And make that a... Three. 
And the receptacle is going to hold, I guess, just whatever is in the line. It loaded up with whatever is in the line. It's kind of like a, like when a drain has um, one little bead of water in it. And it's just one item. And not a ton. 100 keys of it. So enough for like a couple dupes to carry, I think. Good old Tonis. <laughs> that guy. Okay, and then if I make this a 4 and I make this a 3, then... Oh, where'd the materials go? Did someone come and collect those things? Oh, it's oh, it's all in this bin. Hmm. Uh. So the conve okay. So the receptacle. Maybe that's something that I need to. Let's do this first. Let's do this so we can get some materials in here to work with. Oh, it has its own priority too. Oh my god. Uh. I'm gonna come back to that. Oh no no I got, I can't leave that priority up at six though because then they're gonna load everything into it. The whole area. I haven't touched that oil area at all. Uh, it's a good five. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I have to do it a few more times. I, I kind of get it. Uh, I, I, yeah, I kind of get it. So. Okay, all oh, this oxygen is over here. Look at it. It's going to get so icy cold. 20 degrees. It's going to be a blast of cool air. So, yeah, it's it's it seems that... So, because I have one... Uh, auto sweeper kind of in between a whole bunch of things that have varying um, priorities it's it that's actually I think making it a little bit more complicated than it actually is right and it's like I would have typically just like one sweeper that would just manage a whole bunch of different uh, um, bins uh, it's cool that it takes it from just the regular bins I thought I'd use like special bins or something like that so that's great that it just uses whatever bins uh, I wonder if I should go ahead and actually prioritize this up because the base is getting warm and yeah we can't have that like, we're we're hurting guys it's happening but it needs to happen faster someone took a piss in their uh, thing there didn't clean it up this should be coming soon yeah half a cycle And we managed to get more room because we're pumping all this hydrogen out of here. So yeah, one receptacle, one sweeper, and like 10 bins. This receptacle, I'm still not entirely sure in practice what, like logistically, how that would come into play. Like what a dupe would do in order to activate that or how they would use that or whatever. I guess I would just see that too. Um, I feel like if I got more sleep last night, then I would probably be able to just mentally map this out. But, you know, um, you know, up late with the boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> doing stuff. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, they can't reach this. There's no, uh... Oh, it does, yeah. Unreachable build. Okay. Damn, I thought I hover that earlier. Oh, they can't reach that either, actually. Okay. Boom. Now it's gonna be done. All this is done. Great. This is going to be a blast of cool air. It's going to be so good. So here, here's what I'm thinking of. So let's rebuild this whole thing. Um, let me see how much in shipping what the actual space is. Looks like it looks like I can create just kind of like these that goes up pretty high actually so I could go down one and cover two tiers so if I put it here let me put one here and see or actually I can answer my question right now if I just pop this uh, and this and this I want to see how this spread works when there's nothing impeding oh hmm I thought maybe it would be able to see down here. Uh, I bet if I remove like this one, it'd be able to see maybe in a straight line or something. Let's take a look. They're done. Here comes the cool air. Mmm. How do I maximize this? I'm thinking like have one in the middle and then a whole bunch of, uh, of uh, bins around it. But it needs so much space in order to, like, maintain line of sight that I don't think that's going to be a reasonable thing. Damn it. 
All right, so uh, it's gotta be just like a bin and then a couple of things. I was thinking like basically cut these out right here and then just have like one big circle where it can reach all these bins like kind of floating around it. But no, that's not gonna work. That's that's a little too uh, high fantasy, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, so the cold air is coming out very slowly at a temperature of 40 degrees. Ooh! Might be a little too chilly, but that's fine. We need to we need to neutralize some of this uh, some of this hot ass air. Like right now in the base, ooh god, it's 96 degrees down here. Up here it is uh, 89 degrees. Uh, just all over the place. It's just too hot. Just too hot. So we should start seeing that air coming in, getting uh, nice and evenly distributed throughout the base, all over the place. We got vents everywhere. So yes, so we want to see. And it's so cold, we actually might be able to see the color the the, the color uh, actually change as it goes. <laughs> Is that like a little dupe on fire? <laughs> All right, we're not gonna sit there and babysit it though. We'll come back and take a look later. Let me see. Oh, hey, it's a barbecue. We need food right now, so yeah, there you go. Okay. So what are they coming in here to get? What are they doing? What is Wolby doing? Okay. So, oh, okay. Wait, if I take, let's just build something simple here. We're using the shipping stuff. This is a learning, this is a learning point, right? If I put a receptacle here and then I run a rail into here or like I say right like right here and then I take a conveyor chute and I put it here I put an auto sweeper here is it just gonna shoot whatever item the dupes put into that receptacle will it just shoot it out into uh no because that's an in not an out I don't know if that's that that same logic applies to conveyors. Um, let's build this and see if this does what I think it should do. Oh god, that went all over the place. This wires, okay. Like, can a dupe just drop in right here the material that they allow manual use? Manually manage, okay. And then... How would they, how would they know what to put in here, though? I don't think this is right. I don't think this is right. God damn it. How is this going? It's getting nice and cool in this room, though. So that's a nice, deep green. Feel like it's deeper. Loader instead of receptacle. Okay, that's the difference. I was going to say, it doesn't show. I can't, like, select anything. Oh, what are you guys coming in here for? Oh, there's lead on the ground. Ugh, okay, fine, whatever. Um, all right, let's go ahead and deconstruct this stat. Okay, so it does use the same logic, the green pipe and all that stuff, or green uh, output. And then we'll use iron, sure. Uh, can it float? No, it would give it an error, I'm sure. Well, actually, we might as well go ahead and put it floating, or uh, float it, and then put a bin there because we've already killed the little plant that I had right there in front of, uh, in front of um, Buffy's grave. So let's go put that there. We'll put a little tile there. Wait, it does need to have something underneath it, right? We'll see when it's built. You can use a receptacle instead of a. Drain. Well, it doesn't matter which one. It doesn't matter which one. Like if it drops it, it just it'll just throw it in there, right? The receptacle doesn't hold that much, so it, I know it'll grab. I know the machine will grab it from the receptacle and put it in, but it doesn't matter if, if it's dropped or whatever. Like, what's the difference? I mean, the the receptacle costs more materials. Let me see. 
Uh, receptacle costs uh, 200 materials to shoot costs. Oh, it's the same thing, so I guess it doesn't matter which one we use. Okay, I, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Somebody's starving for some reason. Martha. Martha. I don't understand, man. <laughs> Every other time somebody's starving, I go and check and they're sitting on the shitter. Like, how long are they shitting for? That they, like... <laughs> They're so long, <laughs> they like, start starving. Tiny little beads of lit, tiny little beads, 50 degrees, 50 degrees. Hey, that's better than nothing. It'll take a long time, but at the very least, it will eventually cool. It's, I don't think it's going to negate everything going down on down here, but down here needs to move. So that'll all get resolved eventually. Um, let's like do this, okay, nine. We'll do this nine. Shitting instead of working. I know the hiding in the bathroom until until lunchtime. <laughs> hey, my lunch is in thirty minutes, so I'm going to use the restroom. <laughs> I think everyone has done that. Oh yeah, this is just a, this is basically just losing power doing all this. This is the reason why I wanted to do this because I need them to still be able to drop materials into this. You know, polluted dirt, slime, eggshells, stuff like that. But I don't want them going into this room ever again. Uh, so I want to seal these things off, and so this conveyor system is going to hopefully help. You know, solve that problem. They don't have to worry about this nonsense and all this. Bleh. Just crap. Uh, can I take and copy these settings and put it here? No. That's bunk. Let me see. Organic. It's all organic. Uh, everything but allergy, it looks like. Great. And the consumable ore, bleach stone. Got it. It's consumable ore. We'll go to bleach stone. Great. And then we'll go to organic. Organic. Come on, click, click. All except for allergy. Great. And that'll stay at, you know, whatever that thing is. Oh, 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 did not get the... Oh, okay. So it looks like it doesn't... It, it's a wall-mounted receptacle. It doesn't actually sit on the ground. That is, uh... Handy. Yeah. So once... Once that cable's done... Um... And this is done. Do it now. Donis. Do it now, Donis. Oh, already. Okay. So now we should lock these doors. Wait to get everything off the floor over here. They sure did. They never have to go in here again. That's it. Done. No more that way. So yeah, it does it just it's it's great that it's just a uh, oh it's gold. I'm just go and cut that in that. <laughs> I'm taking it. And then we'll just do a mesh tile and a mesh tile as they get across. Hold on a second. I'm not going to build... I'm not going to take two chunks of gold amalgam and then waste some other resource on it. Let's use something I have a bazillion of, like granite. There we go. There we go. And then this pump will just basically run until it's low enough to mop. And then we'll clean everything up. And then we'll go back to building this, uh, this storage facility. And so the idea here, again, if you're just now tuning in, is to move all the storage, all the storage items down here. Uh, let the carbon dioxide basically just like soak all that up, just soak all that nasty heat up, uh, and get to like a neutral state, whatever that neutral state is going to be. Which I think because the high, the carbon dioxide is already so warm, it's probably not going to really absorb too much. Um, eventually, we could probably experiment with hydrogen, pump a bunch of hydrogen in this room, and try it that way. Uh, but I think for right now, this is probably a good start. We had to get rid of the carbon dioxide anyway, so we'll heat up the carbon dioxide, and then we'll just shoot that shit off into space. Well, that's annoying that we're so far away from space to do that. Choose a blueprint. What do we got? Murph leaf seed. Yes, Murph. What's the temperature now? Temperature is 90 degrees. Oof, man. But we got plenty of dirt and water. Do we have a, uh, we have a bottled water receptacle right here. Good. Liquid bottler. Speaking of, we are just barely trickling in water there. This whole system right here. I don't, I don't want to think about what's down there. I don't want to think about it right now. There's so much shit down there that needs work. I just don't. Just don't talk to me. Don't fucking talk to me. <sighs> um, fuck. This is the problem right here, too. Out of sight, out of my... Exactly. Yes, exactly. All right, so he's grilling up. Boots is grilling up, which means that we're low on food, um, on, on natural food food sources, because uh, he's making what is a mush bars. So yes.
God, this is such a good system here, man. All of this. This hydrogen actually got warmer. Did we warm up this area? 51 degrees. We were in the 40s before. I guess pumping in all this uh, cold air did not help. This is getting backed up. This is backed up. We're not getting... Oh, we're not getting any throughput here. The machines aren't running. The machines are not running. Box, the hydrogen is not cooling. Oh, we've reached... Oh, shit. Okay, we're basically gas-locked then. Um... You see what I'm saying? We have just way, 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 way too much hydrogen that we're getting locked. Let's slow it down. <laughs> so I could cry. <laughs> oh man. If it's not one thing, it's something else. I guess that means that we should probably go ahead and take this whole building out this storage facility seriously. Let's go ahead and cancel just buildings. Buildings, so you, 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 you. Who's that? Ah, pity the fool. Buying a, wait, buying a couple to some oxygen and you got yourself some water. <gasps> and then it will be included. Ah, oh, I didn't think of that. Thank you so much, Mr. Pity the Fool. Let's get this, uh, let's get some gas into here. If they're working on this, at least we'll get some, um, uh, Uncle Chat Room. <laughs> let's get some storage units down here made out of something that I actually have the materials for. I guess it's going to be copper. At some point, I got to use the copper, man. And so we'll just drop that down here. So boom, bitty bitty bop. Okay, so that's a good start. We'll let them build. We'll come back and check on it. I'm sure half of that shit's broken. So we'll have to come back and check on it. What is this? Insufficient resources. Aluminum ore. Okay, so you know what? The aluminum ore thing is going to be a problem. Let's make it out of something else. Sorry, sorry. Buildings, buildings, buildings. We'll make it out of, I guess, just basic ass tile. Let me see, airflow. Yeah, because we can have we have tons of materials for this, and we have enough. There's enough airflow tiles kind of scattered around to let anything drain out if we need to. It's, it's totally scientific. And then we'll just do do do. Then you here, good. Cheaper. Makes me think of the old movie, Batteries Not Included. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's an old one. Uh, nothing. You don't get, you don't get, like, ejected into space or anything like that if you, um, if you unlock, if you open the door to space. Uh, but if a dupe is not, I mean, dupes can't breathe, but there's no energy transfer, like, things will get, like, like, really cold or really hot or anything like that. So, yeah, it's just, it just kind of sucks up all the gas and, and liquid and whatever else you have and just makes it disappear. Especially gas, of course. Oh, liquid actually does not. You could drip out here, can't you? If I drip out here, it'll just fall down here. Yeah, it's not going to, like, float off into space or anything like that. Uh, gravity still applies. So this hydrogen is, I mean, a pretty strong mix of uh, 32 degrees to 57 degrees to 60, somewhere in here, 60. Uh, so ideally the gas that's coming out should be around this temperature. And it is 59 degrees. Uh, let me see, what is this? Well, 53 degrees, let's check a couple of these guys. 54, okay, so it's coming out a pretty good, cool temperature. <laughs> Uh, probably partially due to the fact that it's coming by here and it's getting pretty cold, right? Let me see, it's, uh, 43 degrees. And then when it comes out, it's 31 degrees. So why is, why is it... Oh, you know what? It's actually losing energy between there and here. Let me see, 54, it's warming up as it's coming up the pipe. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we need to insulate it. So this is great that it's getting nice and cool right here, but it's uh, it's losing energy going out. So we have to replace it with insulated. I didn't think we'd have to do that in here. 
but I guess we do. Question is, well, I need to do it in space. I should not have to do it in space. Oh god, I just moved, okay. Should not. Is this the last as long as possible game where you'll ultimately lose, or is it possible to become self-sufficient? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know the answer to that one. I'm just gonna keep on going. The last one I got up to like 990 uh, cycles, and the base is basically just completely falling apart. Um, I think this is working, actually. I, I guess it's one of those things you set and forget it, right? Uh, yeah, so last base did pretty well. But then, you know, it's it's just such a complete shit show by it's almost a thousand uh, that it's just there's no point even continuing anymore. So this one, I hope to get to a thousand. I do. I really do. It'll take a long ass time, but that would be ideal. OK, we're going to we're going to we're going to do the storage thing in just a second. Uh, I just want to check out everything else. I feel like I'm neglecting other areas of the base and I don't want to do that. So this gas here, it's all backed up like crazy. I think it's slowly inching its way back unless it is. Oh, it's going to make its way into this pipe here. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Is this attached up here? It is not. OK. <laughs> Ha ha ha. Oh, fuck. All right. Well, I'm glad we caught this now. See, this is why. This is why I said, let me go take a look around because I feel like I'm neglecting something. And I was. I was. Um, <laughs> you cows eating tums. Uh, so I do have gas. Oh, there's gas coming from here, actually. So you know what? We don't need this at all. This is entirely self sufficient now. This little electrolyzer can just do some work. Just drop it in there. Yeah. This is going to kill this. I was going to say it's not getting any hydrogen or oxygen from anywhere, but it is. It's got its own dedicated damn thing. Um, could probably do with this is how hot is this air? 92 degrees. You know, what? we're just going to leave it there. We'll just leave it there. This part will empty out, but this top part will not. I'm not going to worry about flipping that thing. It's just not. It's a waste of time right now. We're eventually going to repurpose those pipes for something else. I'm sure. I'm certain of it. Do I want to look down here? Nope. Let's not look down there. What's our power generation look like? Let's see. I know I gotta go to space. I know, man. I've been wanting to go to space for so long. I haven't looked at this yet. Uh oh. Okay. Oh man. Memories. Wow, it's gonna that's gonna take a long ass time. You know, we'll come back to it. Uh, power produce. I'm producing more power than I'm using, which means I need to create more things that use power. Uh, just barely, though, here. 10 kilojoules. Um, oh, so you know what? I know I'm actually, I mean, I got a couple spikes here and there, but I'm actually doing pretty well. Let's see. Calorie consumption, I'm doing fine, but calorie generation is, uh, is hurting a little bit. Total oxygen consumed, oxygen produced. That's fine. I can just turn on an electrolyzer or turn on a, the algae De deodorizer, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, duplicates, fine. <laughs> that little dip right there. From nine to eight. What happened? Hmm. Let's not talk about it. Travel time. That's gonna. Have, we have plastic. We can't really solve that right now. Uh, average work time. They're working less. The fuck. <laughs> See, average stress created. Whatever. Domesticated crit critters. We have two domesticated critters. Huh. Uh, wild critters. That's interesting. I wonder what happened there. Oh, we've got a Paku, I think is what it was. No, that was a, that's a, wow, that's actually an explosion of something that happened back in between 285 and 290. If you're watching this, watching this on YouTube, you might want to go back and check and see what happened there. <laughs> Leave a comment below. Tell me what the fuck happened at 290 that we had an explosion. Yeah, so we're between 280, uh, 285 and 290. Huge explosion of, uh, explored an area. Could that be it? They're all dead now, though. Average stress removed. Ah, I don't care about that. They're fine. <laughs> to the VODs! Alright, we gotta insulate this because... Well, because we're losing energy there. And this is a unreachable dig, which is not true. They're just not... They haven't fully... Yeah, worked on that yet. So we still have a problem with the gas being, uh, uh, being gas locked here. I wonder if we should 
create like an overpressure vent into space just to dump like a little bit of hydrogen at a time as we get too much. Um, not enough Vespian gas. They went to space before. <laughs> I, I'm the asshole. They went to space. Let me see. This is uh, natural gas. So this is 108 degrees over here. So we have, to, we have to put insulated here as well. That sucks. I thought I could get away with using insulated all the way through to that point. But clearly that's not the case. Let me go and turn this fan off. It's a little too chilly. Let's see insulated gas. So we'll do this out to here. And that should help. All right, so these gas storages go right back. Natural gas, we're so good on. We're just so good on. We don't have to worry about that at all. We have one natural gas generator down here. I think hydrogen generator is going to be the next thing that we have to start working on. Process some of that hydrogen into something else. Uh, there's a little power down here, which is fine. I think I have this turned off, right? Yeah, on. So if I turn that on, then they can come down here and work. We have lots of, we have tons of, uh, of petroleum, like, stored up. It's hot, but something. This would actually be... A great spot for storage. And it's not terribly far from this. But I'm not going to crack the seal, though, between these two. Because I don't want to let all this nasty out of here. Good evening, Blem. That is exactly the point that uh, Buffy died. Oh, really? Oh, oh, you already checked? Oh, shit. Really? That's the point where... So when Buffy died, there was an explosion of critters? What? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Open the entire map up. Oh, maybe morbs? But not 50 morbs, though. It's 50 is what it said. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're drowning. <laughs> Body temperature too hot. One, by 0.1 degrees. I feel like this system here is probably going to get retired soon in, in exchange for this runoff over here for carbon dioxide that we're going to eventually pump out. We got to work on that. I just don't want to tackle that right now. Thimble reed seed. Sure. What do I have? 106,000 kilocalories. All this stuff is still pretty hot. 91 points. It's actually getting hotter. Even though I'm pumping in. Oh, man. Okay. Shit. Let's slow things down. Slow it down. Slow it down. We need storage. We need these sweepers. What's the reach here? I think we're going to do, like, what? Sweeper? I could see... I could kind of see how we could do this here to make this make a little bit more sense for space. Um... It goes up too, but I'm not going to worry about the up part. So let's go ahead and cancel all this, or blow all this up here. Start from scratch. <sighs> this is what it's going to be like for the whole rest of this playthrough. <laughs> just, just constant, just banging my head against the wall. <sighs> Alien shit. Eggs and sh yeah, okay. Oh, I guess, I guess, well, yeah, I don't know. Wow. Wow, crazy. Cycle 520, report ready. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and uh, build a whole bunch of storage bins right here and just go across the board and then we'll do, and then we'll figure out how to do the distribution part. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing here, I guess. And then, I feel like this is a massive waste of space. I was thinking of having two of these loaders, like one, two, because they have a pretty good reach, right? So we could do like one, two, and that'll take care of moving everything around. Um, and then we could do a couple on the sides if we need to. Like that'll help some. We'll know once we get things built. But, but for sure, at least one. So yeah, cause I know it could reach up. But like you can't, you can't put a bin. You can't attach a bin to a wall. It has to have something, you know, supporting it. So that's not really gonna work out. But we could go side to side. That's about it. So we'll go like right here. So one here, 
And then one over here on the end. No overlap. We could avoid it. And we'll just extend this out a little bit more. What is that? So right about there. There. So we could extend this out to the three more squares, looks like. Okay. We'll let them continue to build and then we'll uh, start making changes and stuff. What, how much power do these things use? Looks like we're gonna have to replace some of these this mesh with uh, ladders. Time to use something else. Igneous rock is getting uh, getting used. We have three hundred thousand. It's sandstone. Sandstone now. So the question is, can this? We'll wait. Oh, it's taking a big ass picture. We're gonna turn that off now. You know that these uh, those full scale eight thousand by twelve thousand screenshots. They're like I think they're PNG format, so they end up being like a hundred megabytes each or something insane. Although maybe over a hundred megabytes each. It's crazy. How many bins do we have total here? One of the four, five, da, 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 15, 20 ish, twenty five. Uh, so I would say probably in total all around the base we probably have like. 75 bins and then here one two three four five mm, like 15 here 30 that's like my 20 huh one way for them to finish building before i start committing any resources plus i would like for them to not have to move everything themselves and just set up a couple of those machines and just move them around, I guess? I don't know. A base montage. Yeah, flipbook. <laughs> a flipbook would be great. Of the giant screenshots show progress to help indicate where... So what's cool about those screenshots is they will... Uh, they're like full resolution. So you could zoom in, I think, to like right about here from like this. You know, it's like a, it's it's the entire asteroid that it takes a picture of, and then you could just take and you could zoom in, you could see, you know, like roughly where you're at at that point. So it's a really really cool uh, way of kind of tracking your progress. And the reason why I said it, I so every hundred, um, yeah, every hundred uh, uh, cycles, I increase the resolution, so that way I could have just a couple good like big screenshots of the base. And then I go back to small. That way it just kind of works for like the GIF, right? Um, but just for like reference, that's all. I have some, I have some from my um, my 1000 cycle base. I have a bunch for that. And it's just cool to go back and just look and see like where, what you did and how you built certain things and what worked and what didn't. And you just pretty obvious what works and what doesn't when you're when you're building stuff in uh, Oxygen Occluded over time. Oh yeah, this whole thing will work, totally. And then you get done, and you're just like, oh my god, this whole thing's falling apart. So let's see, it is carrying oxygen at 39 degrees. Excellent, 39 degrees. It's entering at what, 38, 39 degrees. Okay, good, so we're not losing any energy. There's no heat transfer in space. And I'm glad. So now we have cooler air going into the base instead of the, uh, what was it? 50 something degrees before, so we've lowered it by an additional 10 to 15 degrees. Great. Good. Uh, we have a carbon dioxide build a problem at the bottom. Which is going to be super fun to deal with. Oh, good. They're done. Okay, they're done. So now, now, let's see. So it can go... Hmm. So let's... You can... Okay, so it can't see. Oh, so the point... The point of... Okay, so if I remove this one, then... I just want to see. Okay. So I could put a couple probably here and here. Let me put a let's put a tile here and here. Just to see. That way I could probably put a couple more here just to maximize my space. As long as it can see this far one here, then this is good. Damn it so close. Space! What the hell? <laughs> oh, beautiful. 
Perfect. Okay, cool. So then, uh, yeah, we can just go ahead and kill all this. Leave those two. Uh, we will, yeah, kill these as well. And we'll have to rebuild. We'll have to rebuild a couple things, but you guys are going to get stuck. We could build. We'll put some ladders up. Boom, boom. And then a couple more here. A couple more here. Should be four across the board here because of the reach that they have. Deconstruct that. Mesh tile. Oh. And they're going to get stuck. They just can't wait. Just can't wait to get stuck. Then, then. Yellow alert suffocating. Oh, he's. Ooh, he may not be fine. Oh my god, hurry up and build this shit, like right now. And this. Oh my god, he's actually holding his breath. Um, what's a solution? What's a solution? Build, 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 build faster, build faster, build faster. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Someone help this man! Go, go, go! Just go get air, you dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, man. Alright. So we're good now. Jeez. Okay, so this is good. This is a better use of this space here. Um, yeah, I, I, I could think of different ways I can make it so it could shoot upwards and get a couple, but I feel like that's because of the tiles, everything's going to be blocking line of sight. I don't think it's going to really work. So we'll re we'll basically duplicate this, but down, uh, down one. Uh, so it looks like we might have to actually maybe let's do this. Let's go and break this out. And then I'll blueprint this whole thing and move it down. We will eventually turn everything on, but for right now, I think this is good. Um, this is where the dispensers, right, make sense because you can't receptacle. If I put a receptacle here. It will just grab directly from the receptacle. I don't want to put it on the ground because otherwise, if I just dump it using the chute, then everything's going to dump in the first spot. I want it to go to where it's needed. Does this require a... Anyways, let's put it here. Does it, it require power? Shit. I think it does. Can't remember if it's on top or bottom. Let's put it here. The other one here. Kind of flip it so it's uh oh cool. Oh, it does not require okay, it doesn't require a floor. And neat. Also, you could flip around if you want to. I heard that. Muckry. Okay. They do not require oh wait, no. They might. Not done building yet. Only one person can build them, so... Okay, good. So cool, it's only going to take from the... Yeah, you know, whatever we loaded up with, so... The receptacle is going to get... It's going to receive all the, the, the stuff. We actually, we'll actually build a complete working system before we commit to moving this stuff anywhere else. What is this using? Gold? Hell no! I'm going to build my automation out of gold. My uh, uh, conveyor rails out of gold. I don't have a lot of choice. Uh, iron ore. Man, iron ore is going to be more valuable than the fucking gold. The fanciest container. So fancy. This doesn't look reforged. <laughs> we don't speak like that around here. I, I, you know, it's crazy. I don't actually have a whole lot of um, materials to go and build conveyors all over the base. I don't know why I embarked on this whole mission of trying to automate the using conveyors when I don't necessarily have enough metals to to use in for this system. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, what are these? What is this yellow alert for? Oh, it's for the things that we don't necessarily need them for yet. Nope. Okay, good, done, great, great. Okay, so now, now we want to build, I guess, up here somewhere. Um, if I put a receptacle here and allow them to, or the loader, they can move stuff to the loader and then we can run this conveyor down. Can the conveyor go through? Oh, thank God. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oof, man. It's my iron. Every time I try to follow this game, it looks like a confusing mess and I get lost. Of course, I always catch someone in, in the deep game instead of, like, the beginning. Yeah. It gets messy. It definitely gets messy, for sure. My calm smile. <laughs> my calm speaking voice and my lack of yelling. Hmm. Hmm. I sense a wee bit of sarcasm. <laughs> Let's let them finish that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and actually copy these settings here. Uh, what are the... Okay, fine. Okay, good. And if this is then a... F four? Then they'll grab from that and shoot it into these. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. And he's power for this guy, though. Oh, I guess LP. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I, I know. I, I, I just know that I, I do yell at times. <sighs> it has happened on occasion. Uh, a lot of manual use. That's what I want to see. So if I just like that, then they should be able to use it. No. Okay, so I still need to put designators on what they put in here. And you can't copy the settings from a bin for the receptacle. Or this, yeah, the loader, sorry. Okay, so I guess let's go down the line here. Probably none of those. <laughs> oh god, let me take a look at it. Let me take a look at one of these. That should be a thing! So basically, everything except for uh, liquefiable, organic is uh, a couple things. I think it's just uh, uh, algae, no eggshells. Well, we don't have eggshells anywhere anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it's just algae and the seed. So no refined metal, no liquefiable, and that's about it, so. No critter egg. No edible. No liquefiable. <laughs> Probably no medicine. Let's see. Uh organic. What was the organic again? I algae. And a little red eggshell. Come on, click. Seed and refined metal, we'll leave that alone. So, liquefiable medicine, edible critter, and agriculture clothing. Clothing going on there. Agriculture was that a dirt fertilizer? Yeah, that could go down there too. And that should be good. Yeah, it should be good. So, now we test. Let's. There's a priority of this. If I make this a priority of nine and I dump all this shit out on the ground. Oh, they're already moving stuff. They're already moving stuff. And then it's going to come down the pipe here. Ooh, fancy. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. Wow. It works. And look, and it bypasses that one. It goes to the next one. And then it's going to sit there and take the next 20 years to move everything uh, into storage bins. And then... How do we get them out again? 